Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this channel, I do a lot of analysis on Tesla Model Y. I also have an order of Tesla Cybertruck. And today is a special day because Cybertruck was sighted in Texas. Today was a Tesla event for the lithium battery uh, groundbreaking in Texas where Elon Musk drove in the Tesla Cybertruck. It seems to be this is a Cybertruck that may be released to the public. It, uh, from what I've seen so far, I had a chance to look at Cybertruck in the Peterson Museum. So let's get into the video and I'm gonna do some analysis, uh, provide some pointers and hopefully you'll like and feel free to comment in this video and let me know what you think. First of all, this is the, uh, if you look at the video, uh, a bunch of flags, American flag, Texas flag, and I really like the Tesla flag in there, it, which kind of looks like, uh, as if you've seen the Tesla uh, key cards, it kind of looks like that. So. Pretty cool, I really like that. So let's take a look. One of the first things you notice is like there are two flags mounted on the back of the truck, American flag and the Texas flag, it looks awesome. Let's pause the video here and take a look. A couple of things you can notice right away. Uh, I don't know if this is an issue right here. As you can see, this light is missing in the front. The light bar on the top is also missing, uh, which is cool. The Cybertruck wiper is here. I really like the side mirrors and they're a triangle shape, a cyber truck kind of shape. Two fog lights here and the truck looks very nimble the way it's driving. As it moves up here, love the side profile. Another thing very obvious you can notice right away is there are no door handles in the front or the back doors. So right here, here's a shot. No door handles, so that's perfect and side mirrors look looks amazing. The cyber triangle looking side mirrors. And then once again, I could not be more happier to see their the panel gaps are so perfect in this version of the Cybertruck. To be honest, it looks better than my Model Y. And another thing that you obviously can notice is like it has the accessories in the back. To be honest, look wise, it looks okay. It looks very utilitarian. And let's go back for a second. Once again, the wheels look awesome. If you look at the tire pattern, it's different from the tires that were, these might be like all terrain tires. Whereas the tires I saw on the Cybertruck prototype in Peterson Museum, they look more like a mud tires. Notice the tire pattern is very different for the prototype here in the Peterson Museum. Whereas the tires look more like all terrain, more street tires. So I kind of like that. They'll be less noisy and still very capable. There's a little bit of a panel gap right here you can notice and also a little bit on top. So I don't know if this whole thing is a hood, like it opens up or only the top portion opens up. What I really like is notice how this line is very straight all the way. In the Cybertruck prototype that I saw in Los Angeles, these panels do not really align, but in this version, they align very well. Look how perfectly this is aligned. I'm very happy to see even my Tesla Model Y, when you look at the two doors, they sometimes you can see they're not perfectly aligned, but I really like how this Cybertruck, these two doors are aligned here. Yeah, this shot of the truck is really cool. I really like it. The flags, the, the accessories, or the, and I'm gonna pause here for a second. As Elon is coming out, you can see the door is kind of like Model Y door and you can perfectly see the side mirror is triangle shape. The door looks, uh, even the, this glass, the window is at an angle. And I also really like the cyber shovels and I really like the fact how they are tied down into this uh, accessory panel that's on top of the truck bed. And there's two shovels and I love the look of it. You know, it just looks so cool with the flags on the back. All right, so here's another angle you can kind of see more more clearly pretty gigantic wiper uh, to to clean the gigantic uh, windshield, right? Which is fine, the front windshield. But I want to point on one more thing. I, it makes me very happy to say the bottom, look at the dark angles, like the dark portion, how perfectly aligned that is as well. Okay, as the camera zooms in, notice there's a little bit of a gap more than usual here. So I wonder if this pops open, it's like a small hood area. And then once again, at the top, you can notice like there's a little bit of a gap, but the bottom portion is pretty uh, tight. And then you can also notice like the beefy air suspension for the Cybertruck. And it also looks like truck is in a raised position. So there's a lot of gap here. So maybe the gaps are if the hood pops open, but that's something Tesla will have to reveal. A couple more things I wanna highlight, okay. So I want to pause here. It seems like um, the charge port is 
here on the fender of the rear wheel, left wheel that is. In the prototype that's in the Los Angeles Museum, the charge port is on the truck body itself. Fender is because it's extending out. I don't know how safe or secure that is. You know, in, I guess if you're off-roading, you hit an object or if you're getting to a fender bender, I don't know. Putting the charge port on the fender that's extending out of the body, it doesn't seem very secure to me. All right, I wanna talk a little bit about this area too. This uh, bumper extends out in the back, which is ideal for, you don't have to drop the back door. You can just kind of stand and grab if you need to grab something from within the truck bed. It may not be visible in this video, but I've seen it close by. This um, area where my cursor is, you can actually put your foot in to stand on the side, kind of like you can do on Chevy Silverado. You can kind of stand from the side and grab if you need to grab an item from the truck bed. I want to pause here as Elon is right in front of it. So I don't know if it's a portion of the side step that is extending below or if it's a mud guard or mud flap to protect the body. Uh, but this section kind of extends out. It's hard to tell from within this video. As the event is coming to a close, I was a little bit interested and curious to see how long it would take Elon to untie the a, a cyber shovel and he did it pretty quick notice he unhooked the back of the shovel and he did the right thing he gave it to governor abbott and then now he's untying the second shovel and look how fast he did it so i think he must have practiced so this accessory must have been in place in production for a while that he practiced to come here and he untied it pretty fast and here is a better look at the cyber shovel <laughs> amazing i would like to buy one so in this last shot you can see a couple of things quickly uh, one this the wiper is reaching all the way to the top and it's pretty beefy and then you can see the screen right in the back kind of and also this is not a yoke steering wheel it's more like the steering wheel is being offered for model x and the plaid uh, I kind of like it. I don't know, the yoke steering wheel might be a pretty big transition for a lot of folks, but this steering wheel is like a, right in the middle. So I, I kind of like that. Um, I would definitely go for this option for my side of truck whenever it becomes available to me. The rear view mirror is visible too. There's a camera or just a regular rear view mirror. It looks like a glass to me. So all in all, uh, this Cybertruck looks much better than prototype that was introduced in 2019. So this Cybertruck looks a little bit more nimble. I love the wheels. I love the, the overall design, the fit and finish. It seems like this Cybertruck is ready and manufactured in the factory. It's ready to be released to public. I would definitely buy this version. The Cybertruck that's in Peterson Museum, the panel gaps and things are you know put together in a rush for that prototype. But this one is production level enough for me that I would happily buy it. And use it. So very happy, very excited to see this uh, Cybertruck today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and like this video as well. Uh, and make sure to ask me any questions in the comments below. I would be happy to respond and I'm going to be uploading more content like this. So I would appreciate if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.